Hi dear Libras, this is Nicole and this is your spiritual guidance for the month of June 2016 Career Life Focus. Dear Libras, I've been hearing be still, honor that stillness, quiet, and just listen. Honey, divine guidance will come to you this month. Be still and quiet to hear it, to receive it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Gemini new moon for you is in your house of adventure, your higher learning, your philosophy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your connection with foreign affairs, foreign travel, foreign language, anything cultural. Um, your intuition is peaked. So through through long distance journeys, even go, you know, across the city or even into just another neighborhood. Um, but any academic pursuits that you have, anything that tweaks your intellectual um, spark, your conversation. Towards the end of the month, oh, I'm feeling that so strong. Towards the end of the month. You're speaking your truth in your associations. This is in your life career focus. So if you're working with someone that you need to let them know um, if you, if you want to pursue a different pattern because your philosophy has changed, um, this is, you're definitely communicating there. Reach out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Reach out. And it could be email. It could be voicemail. But make that connection. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let go of the outcome. Because once you are allowing spirit to just move organically and naturally. Oh my goodness. It's a great feeling. You're honoring the commitment between you your higher self and the most depth, most high. Listen to this. Okay, just listen. Speaking your truth. Listen and speak your truth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heavenly angels, we thank thee. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The Sagittarius full moon for you is in your communication and it's your mental ability it's your writing it's your voice it's um, sales marketing media advertising um, your immediate environment short journeys um, it, it can take into it, it can it, it can Manifest in the exchange between siblings, extended siblings, um, like cousins, nephews, nieces. Um, but it's your mental process. And so as you're searching for this knowledge, as you are engaging this mental energy, you are an intellectual sign. I feel like you're comfortable in voicing that your philosophy has changed and voicing what needs to be let go of. And as you do that, you see that you let go of those old patterns, that old connection that no longer is useful to you. And you have a new skin. This is letting your voice be heard. You are beautiful. You're wise. You are of the divine. Made to bring forth your individual truth and expression. And there's no more holding back. It's time to remember who you are. And you are a spark of the most divine. You are a lighthouse for the most high. And you are about to empower yourself in a way that you have not experienced before, my dear Libras. You will notice that by taking this step of being vocal, asserting yourself. Didn't I say that to you in your love life focus? Assertion. Because that's it. At the end of the month, 
we're balancing this emotion with Mars going direct in Scorpio and balancing between that passive aggression and that aggression with asserting ourselves. Your ruling planet goes into Cancer so around the 17th. Enjoy that beautiful family, comforting, security, warm, inner peace, you know, cozy feeling because that's grounded love, but it's also a grounded energy and investments, especially if you have home-based ventures, um, family association with your with your income, and it's just a, it's a beautiful time. Remember, this is a time of of inspiration this month. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And your sense of adventure on the Gemini new moon should really be in high gear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ascended Masters, we thank thee. Thank you. Dear Libra, Jupiter is getting ready to go into your sign September 9th. And I pray that you take a hold of this energy because... They've been synchronistically guiding you towards your destiny. Towards a very karmic reality. Whoa! I love this guardian angel. She came out for someone else. So please be sure to view your sun, moon, rising and ascendant sign videos. And if you were born on a cusp, when you're afraid, it's understandable. When you need to let go of someone or something and you need to voice your opinion, you need to speak your truth. But when you hesitate, you may be pulling yourself away from your divine purpose. And when you do that, it's like you take two steps back, you take a step forward. You take ten steps back, you take three forward. To make your decision... Ask yourself which way brings you closer to your divine purpose and which way pulls you away from it. And I want you to see her beautiful self in this beautiful purifying water. One leg is wading in that cool water. Nice, fresh, it's cold, it feels good on your skin. And the other one is planted firmly on the earth. And you see her, her stance is of empowerment. Owning her divine feminine, her divine masculine. Owning her space and time. Giving no thought to what anyone has to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listening, being still. And speaking your truth as you are divinely guided to. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Call on Archangel Uriel. Light your candles. It's Gemini New Moon. You will see a Gemini New Moon video out. And I'll be sure to put um, New Moon tips out there but light your candles Archangel Uriel trust your inner knowledge Archangel Uriel governs the solar plexus so you'll feel it and you'll be able to voice and speak your truth and communicate what your I feel this one just wants to come out oh goodness see no wonder this one wanted to come out it has come out already and you know when that happens I'm just illuminated because that tells you the energy that we're all feeling but it manifests differently and this is receiving as you let go you are receiving energetically you are beginning to draw in the loving people you need to help you move forward on your path and in your life look at that these people offer you both emotional and spiritual support so that you may see and feel your own value in this world, my dear Libras. Remember, 
you have just as much of a positive effect in their lives as they do in yours. While what you have to give is very important, it's just as important that you allow yourself to receive too. In doing so, you are creating a beautiful exchange of energy, growth, and support for all. That seed is blossoming. You'll know what to do. It will be so strong within you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh! <laughs> Dear Libras, when they come out, synchronistically like that it just blows my mind it just is a beautiful thing it makes me so happy it's just it's awesome it's awesome this is revealed this is revealed I want you to look at that for a little while I want you to just be still and be quiet and listen. They're telling me to show you this. Just shedding that old pattern of being a people pleaser and compromising too much and losing your identity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They spoke of this with someone else, so please view all of the beautiful aspects of who you are. This is revealed. Do you know how beautiful you truly are? It is time to stop hiding from the world. The universe is calling you, dear Libras. You have so much to offer, so much to give. This is a reminder for you to see who and what you truly are. You are a part of the one our creator. You are beautiful and perfect in every way. When you hide yourself, you are withholding not only your energy, but your love. Love for yourself and love for others. Embrace yourself and all your quirks. We all have them. Let yourself be free. Let yourself shine. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Thank you for our dear, and you know what? I'm feeling this one. Try it on for size. This is going to be tough for some of my dear Libras to make this change, to let go of the patterns, the people in your life, the way of being. Just try it on for size. Voice your opinion in the mirror. Speak your truth before you have that conversation. Rehearse it. Even when you do have it, if you, if, when you rehearse it a million times, it will come out the way it's supposed to. But you will prepare yourself because it is time to let go. It is time for you to let go of the preconceived notion, the ideal, the outcome belongs to the Most High. You, be, you have control over your emotions and you can steer your emotions like the captain of a beautiful ship your ship is your vessel okay but when you let go of the outcome you are saying to the most high 
I know you are in control and I am grateful. And so just, this is shape-shifting. This is allowing yourself to practice in the mirror and speak your truth because the Sagittarius full moon is in your communications. And so voice that truth. Neptune goes retrograde, dear Libras. Please listen to this. The 13th. Mercury enters Gemini in the 12th. That's a first quarter moon. There's a... Just be aware of the thoughts and that are going to be coming to you. Like this. Little droplets. Because I'm seeing swirls for you. The so little droplets. They'll be coming to you. Neptune going retrograde is no more relationship blinders. That realistic viewpoint. Your approach. Um, and even dissolving debt. Um, so you might be, you know, kind of, of, of really understanding your connection with others and, um, just knowing that you have, this is the time for you to speak up because you've got that energy helps you decipher between fantasy and and the reality, ideal, and what's really going on. Any games being played and how you are truly being valued. You just see the truth. And so as you move forward, you are clear in your values, your path, your intentions, and what you deserve. Thank you, Heavenly Angels. Thank you. Trust the creative spark. You are feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. Okay. Dear Libras, this is voicing, communication. The Sagittarius new full moon, excuse me, is in that part of the sky for you. In your communication, express yourself. Practice in the mirror, practice in your journal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Practice to your pet. Practice in the car when you're when you have the music on. You know. Practice speaking nice to your baby because you you know you're gonna want to assert yourself, and that's not yelling or being aggressive or being passive aggressive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What? Oh my gosh, dear Libras, Libras, honey. This has come out for, I don't know how many times, the fifth time, the sixth time this has come out. And for you, honey, you needed this. This is the Long Snow's Moon. Number nine, you're being told to show your humanitarian side, but number nine is letting go of something else because you are being, you're being catapulted into something greater. Number nine is letting go. The last single digit before you get one and zero. One, the power to create and zero, God's love. Number nine. 27 reduces down to number nine. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Contemplation. The messages. Deliberation. The long snow's moon. Brings a time of quiet contemplation. What did they say to you? Be still, be quiet, and listen. It is time to open up your mind and see beyond the ordinary. To journey into other worlds and connect with the divine. Where a message of importance awaits you. This message will help you along your path to the mystery void. Revel. In the feeling of inner peace that comes from entering the silence. At this time, you feel a deepening in the carefulness in your thinking. Plan every move and go at a steady pace that assures completion. Learn to tackle even your daily tasks. With slow deliberation. Make an art. Out of everything you do. 
by living for the present moment. When approached with a loving mind, things that you thought of as burdens can become blessings. That blessing you on earth around the 27th, dear Libras, is your blessing in disguise. The messages you receive from spirit now feel like long pieces of a puzzle coming together. The gift of the long snow's moon is a slower pace that allows you to weed out the trivial details and recognize what is truly important. Your prayer for this month, June 2016, dear Libras, is Divine Source, help me to enter the silence and slow down the pace of my life so that I may begin to recognize the beauty of simplicity and in turn approach things in a much healthier and enjoyable way. Dear Libras, have a beautiful month of June. Please view your sun, moon, rising, and ascendant signs. And if you were born on a cusp, please view those videos as well. So that you have a well-rounded, spiritually guided pathway forward. Thank you for your loving support. Have a beautiful month and I'll see you soon.